Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today we are going to be attacking this freezer. You all, this freezer is like a hundred years old, but it smells so bad. We bought this recently from my sister-in-law, so I'm very grateful for that. However, and I think it must have been an old place that she purchased as well, it stinks. My husband went in here and cleaned it out with bleach and water and the smell was still there. It's kind of like this moldy, musty smell. We would put Mr. Freezy's in here and I could just smell it on the plastic of the Mr. Freezy's and I was like, I just cannot have that. So we are attacking this. So if you have stuck on smells in your fridge and freezer today, we're getting it done. We're getting the job done. Let's talk about the products that we're gonna be using here today. We're gonna to move over here. We're first gonna be going in with some cleaning vinegar. Y'all, I love cleaning vinegar because it is more acidic than regular vinegar, but you can use any old vinegar. And then we're doing a round two because I'm telling you, we are getting the smell out for good. Then I'm gonna go in with some baking soda. I got vinegar in this spray bottle right here. A lot of different rags, some gloves. I got these at the Dollar Tree, which I absolutely love. We have some stuck on stickers, so I'm gonna use some Goo Gone. I'll show you if you've never used this product before. You can see just the writing on here, how old <laughs> this freezer is. Um, but I love that it's a stand-up, so I'm super grateful for that. And then at the end, I have a secret, secret trick that we're gonna use to make it smell even better. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead get attacking. If you're new here, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe for all things cleaning and organizing for busy women. So we have lots of racks to spray here. I'm not going to record all of it because like I said, you got things to do, but I'm going to very generously spray all of these racks with the vinegar. Very, very generously. I think the smell is stuck on this metal in here. So we're gonna go through, spray all these racks. I'm gonna let it sit for probably a good 20 minutes. And then I'll go in, scrub a little bit. Well, I'll spray, scrub a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in and clean everything up. And then we're gonna go in with the baking soda. Woo wee. All right, so I will do this while the vinegar sits. I'm gonna show you the Goo Gone that I'm gonna be using here to get some of these old stickers up that have been in here for like 100 years. Now, I don't know if it's really a 100 year old freezer, but oh, I tell you what, it smells like a 100 year old freezer. I'm grateful, like I said, we got a really good deal on it. Um, so if this, all of this doesn't work, well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> My husband, like I said, did go in with bleach and water, and the CD recommends one cup of bleach per one gallon of water, and that did not do the trick. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna kinda give it a good scrub here, and then I'll bring you back for the Goo Gone. I have sprayed the Goo Gone, I'm letting the vinegar sit now, and when you use this Goo Gone, you do wanna spray it on the surface where the sticker needs to be removed and let it sit for a little bit, but now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just taking this kind of abrasive little bit of a rag here, and then I'm gonna scrub it on off. See how that goes. Oh, see, it's already coming off. This Goo Gone is like magic. Awesome. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. So I will do the rest of that off camera. One other thing that I'm gonna do here is I have a magic eraser and there's some little marks in here and I'm gonna take it and just try to clean everything up while this vinegar is sitting. I wanna to try to make this look as nice as I possibly can. Stickers are all off, so it's starting to look so much better. We are gonna completely transform this freezer. Not only is it gonna smell good, it's gonna look like new. I am actually gonna include another video in the description box where I'm gonna show you how to remove this rust. I'm not gonna do it here today. And also, how to make this look like new because I have cleaned this, but look at it, it still looks old and dingy. Let me show you the front here. So I will have those videos linked in the description box. Okay, next step here. I wiped all the vinegar down. I just got a warm bucket of water here. I'm just gonna take some baking soda and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put a really generous amount, you guys, because this freezer is disgusting. And I'm gonna take my sponge here and I'm gonna wipe everything down with the warm water and baking soda. 
we'll just give you a little sneak peek here. Mix that all in. You could use this with a spray bottle, but oftentimes, sometimes the baking soda doesn't mix as well, and um, that gets hard, it gets caught in the, the sprayer. So I'll just go ahead, be very generous with wiping this all down. Baking soda is awesome for eliminating odors. And then when we're done here, I'll show you my last and final step. Also, any products that I talked about in this video are gonna be linked in the description box. So the Goo Gone Magic Eraser. So if you just wanna go ahead and purchase them online, you definitely can. They are affiliate links, of course. So first we did the, the vinegar. Now we're going in with the baking soda. Heavy duty getting this done. And then last but not least, when we're done, I'm gonna show you my magic trick to make your freezer smell awesome. I went in with the baking soda and warm water and I wanted to show you my magic eraser, how disgusting it is. Look at that, oh my word. And I love this process because I am very pregnant, but already have a baby here in a couple days. So I feel a little bit better about this. So I'm just gonna take this old towel here and I'm gonna wipe everything down so that it's completely dry. I don't want any moisture left in here. Oh, and I will mention this freezer is completely off. So I, I would highly recommend that if you are gonna be doing this for deodorizing your freezer so you can really get in there. Also, your door is gonna be open. Um, I think it goes without saying, but I just wanted to you know be sure about that. All right, so we got the baking soda done and I actually just recorded a video about how to remove the rust. These are paint chips, how to remove the rust. So if that video is available, I will have it linked in the description box below. And then also a product that I'm gonna be using here to make this look like brand new. You can see all these paint chips here. And there's something else I'm gonna be using right here. So if that video is available, I will have that linked as well. Last and final thing that we are gonna to do to de-stink this freezer. Here it is, folks. We got a cloth. And we're gonna use some pure vanilla extract. Now I don't have a ton left in here. Oh, you can just see this disgusting magic eraser. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm doing this one-handed. Um, also in the description box, I have a ton of playlists and videos all about cleaning and organizing pretty much everything in your home. So I'm gonna use the rest of that. Ooh wee. Get that little excess here. We don't wanna waste anything. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna really wipe down all of these wire racks with this vanilla extract. And this will make it smell so much better. Once I'm done here, I will turn the freezer back on, give it a day, 24 hours to really get cool again. I can already smell it, it smells so good, the vanilla. And I will give you a really good smell test to see if our three-part process here works. So first and foremost, we did the vinegar. We let that sit for a little while. We went in with the baking soda. Again, try the bleach. CDC recommends one cup per one gallon of water, but if that's not working for you, like it didn't in my case, I want you to give this a try. And then you're gonna top it off here with some vanilla extract. I would go as generous as you can I ran out there I have to pick some more up at the store but this this is gonna look like brand new y'all I'm so excited and it's gonna smell so good yes <laughs> if we're not friends on Instagram make sure you hit me up at Andrea Jean Co this cleaning channel is one way that I help women turn their passions into profits it'll make more sense if you head it on over to Instagram So I'll meet you back here in about 24 hours and you're gonna notice that all this is gonna be gone as well but that will be in a separate video. Alrighty, let's take a peek on the smell. I also just completed a video about how to make your fridge look like new. You can see it is being very white and shiny now. I just have to put the handle back on. I also did a video about how to remove rust in this process here but let's see, let's do a smell. I put these in here so that I could use them as a smell because remember I was talking about how the Mr. Freezy smell really bad. So, let's just see. They smell good. 
Yes, so the baking soda, the vinegar, and the vanilla definitely help. This freezer is old, old, old. So we needed the triple action, the triple threat here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the additional videos in the description box below, especially if you're curious about how I removed the rust and how I made the outside of this freezer look like brand new white again. Thanks for being here.